This is a real sword. It was bought secondhand from like a military place and got a fair price on it. Apparently it's a little bit too powerful. My job is to make it fire nicely and that's all I'm gonna do, so let's fucking do it. in it. So for those of you wondering what is different inside a real sword, first of all you've got this little button here that allows decompression of the spring, pretty simple. You can see the piston is a very slightly different shape. Really wide piston, really wide rack of teeth there. Slight wear, nothing terrible, but obviously a big cutout here and that just reinforces the back. Pretty smart idea. You can see the quality of the parts is actually pretty damn good considering the age of this thing. Who knows how used it is. It's still got the original grease on it, but fuck me, that's uh, it's a good little design there. Your sector gear is different, as you can see. Big and chunky all the way around. Now when you're casting a gear, that would make it tougher. Doesn't necessarily make it better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen teeth. And it's pretty good steel as well. Here's where it falls down. Same as LCT almost no depth at all on the teeth just none bolt did the same thing this design of bevel gear is not great so i'm going to change it out to quieten the thing down spur gear is as you'd expect switch assembly again exactly like you'd expect this all i've never tried but this will probably take a Perrin V3 or an Aster or whatever. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't. So obviously this gearbox has no peep holes. You've got a tiny one at the back. Not quite enough to see what's going on. So, uh... All your little speedy boys that only touch ARP9s. You might struggle with something like this, having to think outside the box, you know. Okay. Oh, and also, for the HPA users...
So the brush I use to uh, apply my grease and so forth, it's now uh, basically brushless. I've been going at it as long as I can with no bristles, got a tight cunt. But um, yeah, it's now bristleless. So I think a moment of silence for the brush. Type boobies in the comments to pay respect. Right, there we are, all done. Ready? Isn't that nicer? So much nicer. Now I don't know where he's gonna try and fit an 11 one inside here, but he's just using it for display, so I've done nothing to it apart from change a spring and a bevel gear. He didn't want to modify the internals basically, keep it as a real sword, which makes sense for collectors, I guess. Now this mag is something, I've never done one of these. I've done loads of these mag conversions, real ones over to uh, AEG. I've never done one for a real sword. It's a little bit tatty. My God, that is one hell of a tight fit, but not that it's stuck. It's that it just feels lovely. It's just no wobble. It's fucking perfect.